What's up guys, Black Scout Survival, and today I got a, another uh, folding knife favorite of mine. And it's funny because I did a video the other week on the uh, Paramilitary 2. Well, this is the Spider Co. Military. And basically, it's the original uh, model. Paramilitary 2 came out afterwards. But this one is a lot larger than the Paramilitary and it's designed for tactical applications. Especially like, you know, uh, it's oversized for people uh, you know, in tactical environments, you know, most of the time you're wearing gloves. So like I'll demonstrate with the glove. You can, uh, it has a, you see how quick that thing popped out? But uh, it has a oversized finger hole to use with gloves and the handle is oversized. So we can use with gloves as well. You can see you still have a lot of room there, even for thicker gloves, but it has a Walker liner lock that's a lot larger as well. So you can use with gloves. So, I mean, it's just a good tactical knife. Um, the, uh, blade has a modified clip point design and uh, just like the paramilitary and we'll do a close-up of those in a second um, has S30V steel and this one's G10 handles the digicam the army style digicam the thing about this one versus the paramilitary is this has a uh, only a tip up or tip down on one side because of the uh, liner lock system whereas the paramilitary has tip up or down on both sides but Again, good knife, this one's coated, but I really like it. And uh, just for size comparison, you can see here, the uh, paramilitary two on the bottom and the military on top. Pretty much the same size hole and, and, and uh, whatnot. The blade's a little larger and the handle's larger. And the difference is the walker liner lock on the military versus the compression lock at the rear of the uh, paramilitary. But I got this knife from Knife Hog. Dot com and you can uh, check them out they're giving uh, all of my subscribers that watch this video a 5% discount by using the uh, discount code BSS in all caps but again this is a good knife you know good for tactical environments place you're going to use gloves and and ideally you know uh, you want a fixed blade survival knife but if I had this knife and this is all I had you know could I survive with it I would hope so with my skill sets I would hope that I could survive with this folding knife, knowing that it does have limitations because of the uh, uh, you know lock system here, but check out knifehog.com, check out blackscoutswall.com for any more tips and tutorials, gear reviews, and as always, thanks for watching.